Hey guys, I wanted to show you my DIY mixing station and X32 edit. Control surface, these are two 18 and a half inch LCD screens. And I've got mixing station down here. I've got X32 edit over here. I understand I can have um, both two instances of mixing station. I just have to figure out how to do that. Anyway, so it's two 18 and a half inch screens. It's touch screen. Um, you can use the built-in on-screen keyboard, but I have an inexpensive, just key generic keyboard with a trackpad. It's made by Inotech, I guess you say it. Inotech. It's on Amazon. These screens were on Amazon. They were on sale for like $150 each. Then I have a mini PC. It's a fanless mini PC. I took the leap and got it. Let's see if it shows you the brand name. I'll put it in the uh, description. But it was like $200 and it's working great. It has uh, two HDMI outputs. You can also output video through the USB-C output. And um, yeah, and then it's running on battery power. This is an old charge tech power bank. Um, but actually these are amazing. And so, and it also works as a, um, you can have it plugged in and then the power bank is continually charging, recharging in hopefully, it may not always work, keep up, but, and then this is just all the wires for right now because it's just a prototype. Anyway, the idea is that um, to have a budget friendly and a portable friendly version of like the uh, LV1, the really nice big LV1 screens that we see, either dual screen or screen with a um, fit controller on the bottom. And for, for a physical controller, I have an X-Touch that um, I may integrate into this setup also. But anyway, that's it. It's I'm surprised it's working. And the uh, mini PC is fanless also, so it's perfectly quiet.